self-administering the Follistim AQ cartridge with the Follistim pen. Be sure to have all of the following items before you begin. One Follistim pen, one Follistim AQ cartridge, BD microfine pen needle provided with cartridge, alcohol swabs, sterile gauze, safety container. Wash your hands with soap and water and make sure you are working on a clean, flat surface. Hold the pen body firmly in one hand and pull off the protective cap with the other hand. Place the cap aside on a clean, dry surface. Unscrew the entire pen body from the cartridge holder. Place the cartridge holder and the pen body on a clean, dry surface. Take a Follistim AQ cartridge out of its package. Do not use if it contains particles or is not clear. Clean the rubber stopper on the cartridge with an alcohol wipe. Pick up the cartridge holder and place the cartridge inside by inserting the metal rimmed cap end first. Pick up the pen body and lower it into the cartridge holder. The black rod must press against the rubber piston on the cartridge. Screw the pen body fully onto the cartridge holder, making sure there is no gap between them. The arrow on the cartridge holder should point to the middle of the yellow alignment mark on the blue pen body. You must use a new BD microfine pen needle for each injection. Never reuse a needle. Confirm that there is a Follistim AQ cartridge in the cartridge holder. Clean the open end of the cartridge holder with an alcohol wipe. Pick up the BD microfine pen needle. Peel off the protective paper seal. Do not touch the needle or place an open needle on any surface. Hold the outer needle shield firmly in one hand and the cartridge holder in the other hand. Push the end of the cartridge holder into the outer needle shield. Screw them tightly together. Place your Follistim pen with the attached needle on a clean, dry surface. The best place for the subcutaneous injection is the abdomen in the area just below or to the side of the belly button. Change your injection site a little bit with each injection to decrease your chances for a skin reaction. Use an alcohol wipe to clean about two inches around the injection site. Let the alcohol dry before injecting the medication. Pull the outer needle shield off gently, leaving the inner needle shield in place. Do not throw the outer needle shield away. You will need it to dispose of the needle after injecting the medication. Carefully remove the inner needle shield and discard it. Do not touch the needle or let it touch any surface while uncapped. Hold the Follistim pen with the needle pointing upwards. Tap the cartridge holder gently with your finger to help air bubbles rise to the top of the needle. Look for a droplet forming at the tip of the needle. If you see a droplet, go on to the next step. If you do not see a droplet, continue with this step. If you did not see a droplet at the tip of the needle, dial the dosage knob until you hear one click. With the needle pointing upwards, push in the injection button. Look for the droplet. If you still do not see a droplet, repeat the previous step until you do. You must make sure you see a droplet or you may not inject the correct amount of medication. Your Follistim AQ cartridge will contain either 300, 600, or 900 units. For doses of 50 units up to 450 units, turn the dosage knob until the dot beside the correct number on the dosage scale is sitting in the middle of the dosage window. If by mistake you dial past the correct number, do not try to turn the dosage knob backward to fix the mistake. Continue to turn the dosage knob in the same direction past the 450 units mark as far as it will turn. The dosage scale must move freely. Push the injection button in all the way. Dial again starting from zero upwards. Once you have set the Follistim pen to the correct dose, you are ready for your injection. Pinch the already cleaned injection site between two fingers. With the other hand, insert the entire BD microfine pen needle straight into the skin. Release the pinch. Press the injection button all the way in to be sure you have given the full injection. Wait for five seconds before pulling the needle out of the skin. Pull out the BD microfine needle and firmly press down on the injection site with a gauze pad. Use the BD microfine pen needle for one injection only. Look at the dosage window. 
the middle of the dosage window should display a dot next to the zero. If the injection button does not push all the way in and the number in the dosage window does not read zero, it means there was not enough medication in the cartridge to complete your dialed dose. The number in the dosage window will give you the amount of medication needed to complete your dose. Write this number down. This will be the number of units you will need for the completion of your dose. Start over with a new Folostim AQ cartridge and a new needle and follow all the instructions up to this step. Make sure you choose a different injection site to complete your dose. Place the outer needle shield on a flat table surface with the opening pointing upward. Without holding on to the outer needle shield, carefully insert the needle attached to the Folostim pen into the opening of the outer needle shield and push down firmly. The outer needle shield should now be attached to the cartridge holder and cover the needle. Grip the outer needle shield and use it to unscrew the needle from the cartridge holder. Safely dispose of the outer needle shield with the used needle right away. If there is medication remaining in the Folostim AQ cartridge, put the pen cap back on the pen body and store your Folostim pen in a safe place in the refrigerator or at room temperature. Never store the Folostim pen with a needle attached to it. If the Folostim AQ cartridge is empty, unscrew the pen body from the cartridge holder. Put the pen body down on a clean, dry surface and remove the empty Folostim AQ cartridge from the cartridge holder. Safely dispose of the empty Folostim AQ cartridge right away in the same safety container that you used for needle disposal. Now put the Folostim pen back together without a cartridge and cover with the cap to store for your next injection.